Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a collective haul for you guys of so many things that I've gotten lately and I want to share with you guys. But first and foremost, I know you guys are waiting for it. I just want to say thank you to everyone who entered the giveaway, who subscribed to me and followed me on Instagram. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this small little giveaway, but I already picked the winner. It's going to be listed right here and be expecting a DM from me soon if you haven't gotten it already so I can get your address and send you the palette. I hope you enjoy the palette as much as I have been. I've been using it nonstop lately. I created this look right here. It's like this like olive-y, golden olive kind of smoky eye with this like brown kind of gray lip. I'm so obsessed with it. If you guys really want to see the video or the tutorial on this look, let me know down below. Maybe I can get that up for you next week before Thanksgiving. But other than that, congratulations Congratulations and thank you to everyone who entered the giveaway and let's just jump right into the video So jumping right in to my first little shopping haul I went shopping on Bath and Body Works for some candles and We are hosting Thanksgiving this year. So I really want my house to smell really like hardcore fallish So I went shopping on Bath and Body Works and I am so obsessed with this candle that I bought I know everybody talks about it and I kind of just gave in to that train this candle right here leaves Oh, it smells so good. It's like cinnamon. It's like apple cinnamon spice with like pine wood. I don't know. It just smells so good. So what I like to do is I like to buy two of each scent. So I can have one in my living room and one at the foyer. That way both candles going at the same time like literally lights up the house with the smell. It smells so good. Also, the other candle I bought was Marshmallow Fireside. And this is like basically like vanilla pancakes is what it smells like. It smells so good. It's like my go-to winter kind of candle. I also bought two of these. And you know, I really like how like smoky the glass is on the candles this year. Last year, I think this was just like a, a clear glass basic kind of candle. But I love the smokiness that it gives you. And it just smells so good. Also, I usually only do candles, but then I noticed that they have like the air freshener, like wallflowers is what they call it. So I bought this little plug. Right here, it's like this super like snake skin, like champagne kind of plug. It's so cute. I bought two of these, again, one for the living room and one for the dining room. And then I bought the same exact scents, but in the wallflowers right here. So that on Thanksgiving, I can have them going on at the same time as the candles. So literally everybody who walks in my house is going to get like a whiff of like leaves or marshmallow fireside i'll probably have leaves this is like my favorite right here if you guys haven't tried leaves from bath and body works you you guys need to get on that train because it literally is as good as everybody makes it out to be so that's basically it from bath and body works i know it's like very short and sweet now on to ulta the good juicy stuff so i recently applied for their credit card and when you get approved for the credit card you get 20 percent off your entire purchase so i was like why not you know so starting off with Ulta, I went ahead and picked up this, the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I was running low in my kit, so I figured why not go ahead and purchase it. Also, they can't, it's, I guess it's like a holiday gift that they have going on or right now, or holiday special that they have going on right now, but it comes two in a pack for $39, and one of these is originally $30. So you buy one and you basically get the other one for $9, like that's an awesome deal. So I went ahead and picked up All Nighter Setting Spray. My favorite one is Chill, but I figured if they have this in a two pack, why not, you know? And I also thought this was such a cute little ornament. Um, and this is the Tarte Lash Curler with the Tardis Mascara and a little thing. Um, this is great for little gifts or like stocking stuffers for your family. I honestly just picked it up because this lash curler is like super blinged out. I don't know if you guys can see it. But yeah, I basically just picked it up just because of the bling. But I thought, how cute is this to little like hang it out on, hang it on your tree as like a little stocking stuffer to give to your family. And I picked up Benefits Erase Paste in the shades Fair and Deep. I was going to pick up um, Medium and Deep. But honestly, when I open this, the Deep looks like you can use it on medium skin tones too as probably like a color corrector. Which is what I think these are. It says... Concentrated cream formula flawlessly helps to conceal and brighten dark circles, discoloration, and imperfections. So I'm assuming that this is kind of like a color corrector and then you put concealer on on top. I don't know. If you guys have tried this before, let me know down below like the way you're supposed to use it. I think that's how you use it. Um, this one is deep which is pretty like peachy and orangey. So I'm, a, I'm curious to see what medium looks like. I don't even think it might be necessary because like fair 
isn't that much of a difference um let me open fair so fair is like a little bit of a lighter pink um but yeah i'm super excited to test these out if anything i can just mix them both together for medium skin tones but i'm excited i've heard nothing but good things about these i know that they say don't use a lot like a little bit goes a long way so i'm curious to compare that to becca's under eye brightener that i have then i was super excited to pick this up i picked up the anastasia contour stick and the color fawn which i don't remember how they described this uh, this color online i think it was like a toasted almond something like that um but it's pretty gray in tone this is what i use to contour today um it's like super super de duper de gray <laughs> super de duper de i don't know if you guys can see like the color of it but it's super gray it almost goes on kind of like purpley on your skin tone but once i blended it out it was a pretty nice contour shade i honestly i can't give you like my full review on it i just used it today um so i don't know how i feel about it i have to keep playing with it i just feel like it kind of just blended into my skin and i couldn't see it too much but maybe i'm tripping i don't know but stay tuned for that i'll probably be using it in more videos then the next thing i picked up is this becca priming filter or becca backlight priming filter which i've heard a lot of reviews about it it says that it has luminescent pearls in it um so it's a lightweight whipped fluid that creates a smooth canvas and acts as an instant filler and it gives a healthy luminous glow i've heard people like caffeine lights and jacqueline hill rave about this so i kind of wanted to test it out on my own i didn't try it today but it looks like they give you a good amount it's pretty pricey but i mean it's kind of a big bottle kind of i'm interested to see how that turns out as well since i am so obsessed with the urban decay what's that one called the urban decay glitter liner that i just got i forgot what it's called it's like a champagne -y gold color damn what is it called i don't remember but since i'm obsessed with it i decided i wanted to pick up the same liner but in like this hardcore silver color for the holidays um and i just know that i'm gonna love this because i love the other one oh it's called midnight cowboy i think it's what it's called this one's called glam rock and then also i just picked up smashbox um studio skin foundation and the two darkest shades or i think the darkest shade and then the second to darkest shade um just because i wanted them in my kit i always like to mix and match mix and match foundations um and i've heard a lot of good things about these foundations so we'll see we'll see what they um how dark they are too because maybe you could always contour with them even though these seem pretty dark all right and i think that sums up everything that i got from ulta it wasn't that much but whatever before we jump into windsor i just want to tell you about these pants that i got from target and let me tell you you guys need these um these are like super 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 like literally they come up to like right underneath my boob high-waisted leggings and i think they're by the Spanx brand assets i think is what it is um i just picked them up in black for the winter time i wanted some high-waisted tight leggings these aren't see-through at all and let me tell you these hold you in tight i got a size medium and literally they fit like a glove if you guys are at target and you are looking for some high-waisted leggings pick these up these were only 28 dollars moving on to windsor i picked up this olive green like tunic sweater i just love big baggy sweaters for the winter time pair them with some leggings or shorts and high-waisted or high waist some over the knee boots would be really cute to dress it up or you can just wear it with leggings and um over the high knee boots or converse i have been wearing it lately just with those leggings and i throw on some chucks and i'm good to go for like a casual kind of outfit um it's super long it passes your butt it has huge slits on the side right here which is why i said they would be it would look really cute with some shorts and over the knee boots um but yeah i love this sweater it's just like a crew neck i just love baggy sweaters for the winter time they're so freaking cute and they're like staples you have them in your collection every winter then i wore this in one of my previous videos i think it was the juvia's place video it's just this like gray turtleneck kind of tunic it's pretty long too and it's flowy so like if you're short you could definitely wear this as like a little sweater dress but since i'm taller and i have a big butt this is just like a long t-shirt or long like sweater for me 
Um, again, I just love this just because of the neck. It's like not that turtleneck that like sucks you in really tight. It's kind of like tight, but then it hangs low right here. I think it was my Juvia's Place video where I had it on if you guys want to see it on me, but it's so cute. Then the last article of clothing that I bought was this jacket. I wore this in my previous video. Um, I think they're called like inner anorak i don't know how to pronounce it but it's this kind of jacket where it's like kind of baggy and then it ties in the back if you want to make it a little bit tighter and it has this like massive hood on that like hangs over your shoulders like this but you could totally wear it as a hood if you want to but i just love camo jackets i've been dying to get one and i'm so obsessed with this go check it out on windsor it was kind of expensive this was 55 dollars but you're gonna have this forever so why not just go ahead and invest in a jacket like this with like a crop top and high-waisted leggings with some converse is so cute or with shorts and like a turtleneck kind of shirt on with high-waisted or high, what do i keep saying high-waisted over the knee boots would be really cute so yeah then the last thing i want to talk about are these two chokers that um i won her giveaway so she sent them to me i think they're from necessary clothing i'll leave her blog post down below so you guys can go check her out she has like the cutest son ever but i just wanted to show you these chokers this is like a gray choker with like a little hoop and this one is an olive green that ties up obviously but I just wanted to mention those. Um, so that wraps up this little haul that I had. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are having a great week. And congratulations to the giveaway winner. Um, I can't wait for you to get that palette and see how much you like it yourself. But other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.